the crisis rocking the Labour Party keeps increasing at a pace that sometimes you cannot even keep pace. It's coming in leaps and bounds from different angles. And the obedience are almost tired of this Labour Party. They said, listen, we don't care what happens in Labour Party now. We know who we are following. And his name is Pito B. Wherever he goes, that's where we go. We are not voting on party or following Labour Party because the, of the name or because it's a political party. But we have somebody we can trust and have confidence in his character. So that's the person we know. Whichever party he purchases his tent on or wherever he goes, that's where we will go. Now, let's break down what is going on in Labour Party now because sometimes it's become a problem to capture all the things happening, all the troubles and crises going on in this party. But there are two particular ones that are now very obvious and is shaking the party to its roots. I'll tell you what they are. But first of all, please kindly like this video, share this video, and subscribe to our channel because we bring you all this juicy content all the time. First of all, the Labour Party, the Julius Abure leadership, has now accused Yunus Satanko, the campaign spokesman of the presidential candidate of the party, P2B, of conniving with the Nigeria Labour Congress to hijack the Labour Party. Wow. Only Yunus Satanko wants to hijack the Labour Party. I will also tell you about suspension of Julius Abre. But let's um, explore this one a little bit. What did Yunus Satanko do? Because Peter B visited the Labour Party Secretariat and he sent buses all over the place. And the social media was buzzing and people are saying, finally, Peter B has now recognized the Julius, Julius Abure leadership of the party. So his visit is a kind of stamp of recognition and support to Julius Abure. But people say, no, obedience, we are all over the place, angry, some venting their views, some talking, but some were too fast to speak because all you see sometimes is not the real story. So you have to wait a bit. And what happened later? He began to come out that people be went there to receive some decap that wanted to join the party and not really to go and raise the hands of Julius Iberia. And when that information started coming out, people started to say, oh, okay, probably we were so much in a hurry to react. And then it didn't end there. And people wanted clarification from P2B himself. And it was Yunusa Tanko who came out to say in one um, in one event organized by Labour con uh, Congress, Nigeria Labour Congress, he used the opportunity to explain that P2B went to the Labour Party headquarters quite all right, but he was not there to endorse anybody. He didn't go there to endorse Julius Abure and his election that took place in Nawe. And this one got Julius Abure and his camp very angry. And what did they do? Now they took on Yunus Atanko saying that he is now joined forces with the Nigeria Labour Congress and want to hijack the party. I have one question before we continue to the next controversy. Do you think that Yunus Atanko is planning to hijack Labour Party from the Labour Party itself and move it to the Nigeria Labour Congress? Please tell us your opinion because this one, a pass me. Right, so we move to the next one. As this is dying down, the Labour Party executives in Ward 3 in Arwe in East and Northeast, local government area of Edo State, have now suspended the national chairman of the party, Julius Abira, over alleged high handedness and anti-party activities. Wow. From his ward, they have suspended him. And this is not the first time this thing is happening. It always comes and goes. 
But if they suspend him from his word, what is his implication on a national level? Does it mean that he's also suspended as the chairman of Labour Party? Now, that's where the thing gets complicated because the National Publicity Secretary of the Labour Party, Obio Raifo, suddenly debunked that development and describing it as fake news. He said, but the decision by the world executives got the blessing of the state executive committee of the party who ratified it after the world wrote a formal letter to them. So now, do you see the confusion? Is it true or is it not? Right? This Friday night in Benin City, the Dutch state's capital, where state, local council leaders and other members of the party were present, the chairman of the Labour Party, Enesa North is local government council, Patrick Onobweni, disclosed that he had on May 14th this year received a letter from the World Three chairman Thompson Ehigwese detailing Abire's membership suspension from Arue Ward 3. So the state chairman is saying, yes, I got a letter that is suspended. But the national are saying this is unlawful. They have no such powers to suspend the national chairman at a what level. So what is the going on with this party? They have an election coming on. They have a very good candidate, a former uh, president of the Nigeria Bar Association. And they have a good possibility to clinch the governorship in a do state. But with all this confusion, every day, new problem, new fight, how are they going to do that? Other parties are also preparing themselves for this epic battle to get the governorship of the state. And Labour Party is on a slight disadvantage here, if I may use the word, because um, Edo State is currently under PDP govern uh, government. So if you want to remove the ruling party in the state, you have to put in a little more effort. But with all this fight and confusion and everything, what is going on? How are they going to do it? How could Akbata now get the seat if the Yoruba party is not in union? There's always suspension, and the Do state in particular has been very tense when it comes to affairs of Labour Party. And the chairman is from there so far, though he's under dispute, but he still remains the chairman. So he should be able to keep a Do state under control so that people do not um, scatter what they have built. And it's not like only the Labour Party is having problems. The PDP is in a mess at the moment. The APC have their own um, cross to carry, though, because they are in control at the national level. Most things seem like they are okay, but there are problems in all these parties. But the Labour Party will understand that the young people who voted P2B or our obedience will not wait for them forever to put their house in order. They have to do what they have to do to resolve this chairmanship problem, resolve a lot of problems that are in the party so that they could have the momentum to go into future elections as one unit. That's all that is going on in Labour Party at the moment. We are waiting for how these things will be resolved. And as I always say, please like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And we will see you in future updates.